The vast majority of pro players in any FPS game have a low sensitivity. In this video, I will show you why this is the case. 1. Because you can make more precise movements with your mouse or controller. Let's say you move on your mouse on high sense 1 inch. You're probably gonna do a full 180. Now if you aim 20 degrees right on the screen, it's going to be much harder to do that because you would have to try to move your mouse 1 6 of an inch every time. It's a lot more inconsistent. Also taking into consideration your fingers are probably the one that controls your aim. Moving your fingers in a specific direction is a lot harder than using your whole arm to aim. You can tilt your elbow and forearm more precisely than your fingers as well. Think of it this way. If you have a smaller piece of paper, it's going to be a lot harder to draw a picture just because a big piece of paper allows for more movement and detail. 2. Low sense makes it harder to have shaky aim. With high sense if you aim a little bit left or right, you can't hit the target because even just a little shake or reflex in a hand could cause you to swing too far or too close. Low sense makes it a lot harder to move up or down as well. So if you're aiming at head level, doing a 180 is much easier to continue aiming at that level. It's also better for flicks. Flicks are harder to do with high sense because again, you can only be so accurate in that amount of space. If you want to flick to a target, it's one big swipe. Mastering the muscle memory for that is easier because making a bigger movement is easier. Lastly, tracking is also a lot more consistent. If you want to maintain consistent glide of your joystick or mouse, high sense is easier because taking it slow makes it easier to build muscle memory for tracking, just like flicking. 3. It's because it isn't as fatiguing as high sense. When you're aiming with high sense, it's mainly with your wrist. Wrist aiming can be easier for the first half hour, but after a while, all that tension will cause your wrist to tighten up. It's also going to affect your hand long term in most cases. Think about writing with a pencil for too long. It's the constant strain on your wrist that makes it tiring and eventually it's going to be painful. Some long-term effects of this can cause are tingling and numbness in serious cases. Finally, if you're forced to play with high sense because of your mouse pad, I highly recommend a bigger one. Just try to experiment with low sense even if it doesn't fit you for the first few days. I would give it at least a week. Once you get used to it, it's hard to go back. It might feel like larger movements are harder to make for the first few days, but most of the time, games like Valorant or even Fortnite don't require a high amount of accuracy for large movements. So I think the trade-off of being able to master small movements is worth it when you sacrifice the speed of making large turns on your screen. Yes, there is a 5 or 10% of pros who still use high sense, but if you really want to get better quick, this is the biggest reason why you're stuck in whatever rank you are right now. Just try experimenting with a low sense, and that would usually cause you have way better aim in the long term. Do you like gaming news, tips, and other videos like this? Subscribe for more. I post at least once a week, and thanks for watching.